What'd you get? What'd Santa get you? I don't know. Garbage is for this. Oh, you gotta open it. He doesn't know how Christmas yeah. works. Welcome to Neural, Nikki in real life. Neural, where I show you clips and pictures of my real actual life. I haven't put up a vlog all year. I did not mean to not put up a vlog all year. In fact, I've been vlogging all year and not editing, so... Basically, I've just been a crazy person holding up a camera and talking to herself and never showing anybody the footage. Great, I wanna change that. I would like to put up more vlogs. I miss vlogging, I miss sharing the vlogs with you. Basically, what happened was the time I used to spend editing the vlogs, I have been spending so much on creating new things, which I'm super excited about and I think it's totally worth it. I thought what we'd do to just like start bringing vlogs back is catch you up. Maybe if you used to watch the vlogs, you're like, what's up with your life? Like, where are you at? Did you buy a house? Did you make it look exactly like your old house. Maybe you're like, I don't know who you are. Why are you talking so much? What is this? All valid questions. So I'm just going to do a recap as fast as I possibly can from December, which was the last time I vlogged, until now. And also just fill you in on some changes that I want to make. Exciting changes, new stuff, new changes, all good things. Things are going to like. I'm really excited about them. Let's jump into it. December 2017. We were doing Vlogmas, and then we just stopped doing Vlogmas. But if you are interested, here's what happened. We looked at houses. We looked at a lot of houses. Dude, look at this kitchen. Eminem dropped a new album that I was going to do a review on, but I just couldn't handle it emotionally. Okay, so that was about like how he watched his best friend die and he couldn't save him. If you'd been a fan for 18 years, you'd react the same exact way to those songs. Looked at more houses. Christmas happened. Okay, so we're going to this place called Naples where they have a lot of Christmas lights and they like compete over who has the best <laughs> Christmas lights. But it's really cold out, so everyone looks like yeah, it's fucking not that cold. Like, you guys are all being dramatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that cold at all. <laughs> it's like so 65 cow. degrees, and we're like, it's freezing out here. It was our first married Christmas, and the first time Steve actually spent Christmas Eve and Christmas morning with me and my family in Long Beach. You're so cute. I killed the bubbles. I'm the bubble don't kill the no, don't, don't bubble killer. Steven. No, they call me the Steven butcher of bubbles. Paul That's what they call me. Steve. Okay, I'm sorry. We went to a place called Naples, where everyone goes above and beyond decorating their fancy houses along a canal. I brought wine and a coffee thermos. Because because I'm a seasoned veteran. And blah, 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 cute shit, no one cares. Here's an impression of Steve opening presents. Er, der, I have a gift, I like football. Dead on impression. Then we went to his family's house where our niece has become a makeup guru and taught everyone how to contour. Hi. Doing a good job. Uh -huh. That's totally your shade. Everyone's getting a makeover. Thank you. <gasps> we looked at more houses and we almost put an offer on a place. But then we didn't. It really, it's, it's good, I like it. I'm glad we didn't. Moving on. New Year's happened, our party was raging. Man, this party's so lit, I hope no one calls the cops. Wait, don't call, please don't call the police. Please don't call the cops. Don't call the this is our first rager. I purged my house, magic of tidying up style. I got rid of a ton of stuff. Our house was clean for a solid two weeks. Cleaning boy. Did what? you hear me? What? I said make sure you get under the couch. No, you're cleaning boy, I'm your husband, I'm just trying to clean up. Okay, cleaning boy. Then I bought more clothes and now it's pretty much back to where it was. I started my workout regimen back up. Uh, gains. I made a website called Nikki.Limo. I made it myself. It's pretty rad, it has everything all in one place. Plus I started blogging on it, whatever. I did a giveaway to anyone who subscribed to my site in the first week. Shout out to Shanna who won some dope Nikki Limo t-shirt swag. The swaggiest. What up? I started posting sketches again, which totally renewed my love of creating. Kind of feel like I've been in a rut the past few years, and this reignited my passion for writing. If you have a chance, check it out. Started running again. I'm getting them. I'm getting gangs. I'm getting them. Got up to running six miles. Now I run five miles every other day. Not to brag. Gains. Designed something really cool that I can't show you right now, but I will really soon. Hint, hint, hint. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. We went to Park City, Utah to watch our movie play at Slam Dance Film Festival. How's it going, Park City? Woo! That was pretty dope. Finally made it to Park City out of Salt Lake. It's getting dark and Steve didn't bring his other coat. Hey. Didn't bring the coat I told him to buy. Lost his scarf. <laughs> I'm a disaster. Right? Oh my god. I can't bring him anywhere. I give him all of the, all, I, give, I give you everything you need to succeed. You did. You did. You handed me it. I handed it to you. Yep. And you I threw it in the garbage. Episode. I really fucked up on that. Then I got overwhelmed with life and got into watercolor painting. Valentine's Day happened. Steve is a huge pussy. Bought me roses, whatever. I'm madly in love with him. Look at this wrapping. Wow. Wow. You're fucking... That's actually dope. Yeah. That's dope. 
You wow. liked it. I love this. Look at what it is. It's a fucking pizza neon. It's a neon pizza light. Oh, that's, dope. that's dope looking. That's hella sick. It doesn't show up on camera though, it just looks like a bright light, but there's like really? different colors. The pepperonis are red neon and the this is like a bright yellow. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, cute. Posted another sketch. You should really check it out. Hey, why don't you go check it out? We started working and hanging out a lot more with the JK Films, JK News crew. Joe ate a burrito and is trying to burn off the calories. I ate a burrito and half a sandwich. Wow. He's hey, a big cool. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Love those guys. Steve wrote a movie with them. We did a reading on it. It was great. We're all going to Vegas tomorrow and like spending the weekend there, which I will definitely vlog and show you guys. Looked at more houses we didn't buy. Steve and I both started walking 10,000 steps a day on top of that workout regimen I was already doing and the running. Launch new t-shirts. They're gone. You can't get one anymore. Looked at more houses. Took a little day trip and watched our movie play at the San Luis Obispo Film Festival. That was pretty rad. We're in San Luis Obispo at the screening of Buddy Story with the director, Michael Gallagher. Slow. <laughs> it's slow. That's what the locals call it. You gotta get with it. You gotta get hip. You gotta get with the people. Start shaking hands. Hey, what run about for the off. movie though? Oh yeah, we made a movie. <laughs> cool. This has been a great interview with the director of Funny Story. We also have the producer and star of Funny Story, Jana Winternitz. I don't know. Turn the camera. <laughs> and Steve Green. Yeah, Steve, Steve does star and in the movie. Star. Don't tell him about my role though. It's a secret. Surprise. It's a real surprise. Posted another sketch. You should really go check it out. I think it'll be part of a series based on Steve living with me and his perspective. Just go over there, watch it, give us some love if you like it and want to see more. If not, whatever. Don't. I don't care. It's fine, everything is great. And we just recorded the first episode of our podcast called Shit They Don't Tell You, where we talk about all the shit they should have taught you in school that would have been really helpful, but instead you had to learn it on your own, the hard way. Which you will be able to listen to wherever you get your podcasts. I'm super freaking excited about it. I like, can't wait. We've been trying to do this for like a year and a half. And it's finally happening. And that brings us to now, where we're here. Hey, what's up? How are you? I've been vlogging. I would like to get back into posting more vlogs again, but I've been super busy putting together a ton of new shit that I think you guys are really gonna like, I, or at least I hope you like it. I'm excited to show you and like very nervous also. I'm just really excited for all of it, okay? I've been starting to integrate some new stuff into this channel and I took a poll to ask you guys what you would like to see more of and you have spoken. You say you would like to see more Thirsty Thursdays. I hear you. I will put the, you will get more Thirsty Thursdays. I think the way I would like the schedule to go is Tasty Tuesdays on Tuesday. That, you don't even have to say. A lot of people in the poll said they voted for Thirsty Thursdays just so they could comment that they want more Tasty Tuesdays. Tasty Tuesdays, there's only one Tuesday and it's all taken up by Tasty Tuesday. That's still happening, I'm not taking that away. So Tasty Tuesdays on Tuesday, Thirsty Thursdays mixed with collabs and DIYs and favorites videos on Thursdays. And then Saturdays will be neural vlogs. And then the sketches I will just put up whenever I have one, which actually, it's better. It creates less pressure on me to make them because I have to make them, because people are demanding them, because you guys are <laughs> not demanding them. <laughs> I'm really doing it to feed my own soul, and um, and so I like hope you like them. I mean, if you like them, that's tight. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. And uh, if you're like, yo, I literally only subscribe for food and alcohol. Well, that's cool too. A, we can all be friends. So there you go. New stuff, old stuff, I don't know. I just want, I just needed something that makes me alive again. And I think that's happening. Not this Saturday, but the next Saturday is when I will start posting vlogs regularly again. So if you're into vlogs, come back on Saturdays. If you're into cooking, come back on Tuesdays. And if you're into just everything else, come back on Thursdays. That'll be your spot. That's like the main bitch. And I don't like to pick favorites, but I'm really excited for Thursdays. Turn your notifications on. Also give me a thumbs up. I don't know, I'm asking for so much. But I just like really like you and like so I really want you to like me. Do you know what I'm saying? Bye!